welcome to week two of my online story time. This week's theme is Easter, uh, or mostly bunnies, you will see. There's a lot of bunny stuff out there. Um, I'm so lucky to have two helpers with me this week. I have Tristan and Lucas. They're very excited to be here. So, we're going to get started with our first story. Rabbit, and it's on the felt board. So it starts with White Rabbit, White Rabbit. What do you see? I see an orange carrot looking at me. Orange carrot, orange carrot, what do you see? I see a yellow sun. Thanks, buddy. Looking at me. Yellow sun, yellow sun, what do you see? I see a gray cloud. Looking at me. Gray cloud, gray cloud, what do you see? I see a blue raindrop looking at me. Blue raindrop, blue raindrop, what do you see? I see a red flower looking at me. Thank you, buddy. And red flower, red flower, what do you see? I see a colorful Easter egg. Looking at me. Colorful Easter egg, colorful Easter egg. What do you see? I see everybody. Thank you, boys. Okay, and now we're ready for our first song, which is one of our favorites. Sleeping bunnies. Are you ready? Do you have your bunnies? Okay. See the bunny sleeping till noon. Shall we wake them with a merry tune? Oh, so still. Are they ill? No, wake up, little bunnies. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, little bunnies. Hop, hop, hop. Hop and stop. Thank you. You stopped on your foot. Great. Now for my second story, I guess, my book story, I have Chester's Colorful On the day before Easter, Chester was excited to decorate eggs for the He boiled six eggs on the stove, fixed himself a little snack, and put on his favorite music. Then he sat down with his crayons, tape, and an egg coloring kit. Yes, he is. First, Chester colored an egg red and hid it in a nest full of baby birds outside Sydney's balcony. Then, Chester colored an egg green and hid it in one of Miss Kitty's flower pots. He hid it in there. Then Chester colored an egg yellow and hid it under Ralph's hat while he was napping. Mm -hmm. 
Then Chester colored an egg orange. Charlotte's sugar bowl when they had tea. Give the egg into the sugar bowl. Then Chester colored an egg purple and hid it behind Maurice's curtain during his piano lesson. And last, Chester colored an egg blue and he hid it in Frederick's water fountain on the top, uh, on the rooftop just as it started to rain. On Easter morning, the sun began poking through the clouds and Chester's friends found all of their eggs. Chester was tickled pink. Suddenly, a magical glow uh, appeared on the eggs. What is it? Under the rain, it looked so colorful. It was truly a wonderful Easter to share with all of his friends. Happy Easter! The end! All right, so for my next song, it's another song about bunnies. And this one is the Bunny Hokey Pokey. So I really hope that Tristan and Lucas are going to help me with their bunnies. All right, are we ready, boys? Okay, come in so the camera can see you. Thank you. Perfect. All right, so you got your bunny ears? You put your bunny ears in, you put your bunny ears up, you put your bunny ears in, and you shake them all about. You do the bunny pokey and you hop yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your bunny paws in, you put your bunny paws up, you put your bunny paws in, and you shake them all about. You do the bunny pokey and you hop yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your bunny nose in, you put your bunny nose up, you put your bunny nose in, and you shake it all about. You do the bunny pokey and you hop yourself around. That's what it's all about. You put your fluffy tail in, you put your fluffy tail up, you put your fluffy tail in, and you shake it all about. You do the bunny pokey and you hop yourself around. That's what it's all about. And the last one is, you put your bunny body in, you put your bunny body up, you put your bunny body in, and you shake it all about. You do the bunny pokey and you hop yourself around. That's what it's all about. Thank you, boys. Now, my last story is about bunny foo-foo. You guys ready? I think, I think they've been waiting all video for, for Bunny Poo Poo. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> it starts off with Little Bunny Poo Poo is hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. And then down came the good fairy, and she said, Little Bunny Poo Poo, I don't want to see you. Scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. So I'm going to give you three more chances. And if you don't listen, I'm going to turn you into a goon. goon. And then the very next day, little bunny foo foo is hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. And then down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny, I didn't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. So I'm going to give you two more chances. And if you don't listen, I'm going to turn you into a, a goon. And the very next day, little bunny foo foo is hopping through the forest, 
scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. And then down came the good fairy and she said, Little bunny boo boo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. So I'm going to give you one last chance. And if you don't listen, I will turn you into a goon. And the very next day, little bunny foo foo is hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. And then down came the good fairy and she said, little bunny foo foo, I didn't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I have given you three chances, and you still didn't listen. So now I'm going to turn you into a... A... A goon! Show the camera all your goons! So the moral of the story is, Hair today, goon tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, boys. So that was it for my stories and my songs. Um, real quickly, I wanted to talk to you about the crafts that we made. So, a um, bit of a, a head parent who will be doing most of it I believe. It didn't go so well I did most of it but it's okay because crafting like my singing is not great but I do enjoy it. So we use these little egg templates that I believe uh, you can find under the virtual story time so you cut them out. To get this we use crayons. So crayons. We brush them with water paint so that's how you get that but I guess you could do whatever you'd like and then I just cut out white pieces and made the bunny. So it is very cute, I find, when it's all done. Uh, a little time consuming though, so keep that in mind. And I used a plate to glue them on, and I don't think that was necessary because now all the eggs are getting a little wonky. So you could probably just glue them together. Uh, but yeah, that's it. I hope if you do do it, show me, send me some pictures. I hope you have fun. Um, and yeah, it keeps you busy this weekend. Uh, I do want to wish everybody a happy Easter. I know that most of us are probably not going to spend our Easter like we'd like or like we're used to. Uh, with everything going on, but I still hope that you have a great Easter with, you know, your family in your house and uh, Hopefully it's, you know, short-term uh, Pain for long-term gain and I will see you again next week. Thank you for tuning in